Welcome back. Today we're going to take another look at the new camera features on the Xperia 1 Mark II. Android 11 brought a lot of updates like the new external monitor app that I covered in a previous video. But today we're going to focus on the new features in Cinema Pro and Photo Pro. Let's dive in. I'm Supreet and I cover smartphone cameras with tutorials, tips, and real advice. If that sounds interesting to you, join our small community. Also, I recently picked up the S21 Ultra, and wow, there's a lot we need to cover on these new cameras. So stay tuned for that coverage. Now let's get back to the Xperia. The Photo Pro app got one main upgrade, and to find it, we just have to go to the mode switch on the top left. And you can see I'm in program, but at the very bottom, there's a new option of MR. And let me show you how this works. So if I go into manual, you can see that I have settings for astrophotography. I'm at a very slow shutter speed of 15 seconds. My ISO is also quite high at 1600. And this is something that I'm not shooting at very often. So ideally I want to save this somewhere. So all I have to do is go into the menu and then go down here to camera settings memory. And you can see all of my settings from the manual mode come up here. I have that 15 seconds, 1600 ISO, as well as all the other things that I could set through the menu, such as soft skin effect, and then the dynamic range optimizer. So all of these settings, I can just say save and say, yes, I confirm that. And now this is all available to me in MR. So if I go down to MR, all those settings come back. And it's just confirming here that this is what it's going to set on MR. So if I say set, now we have recalled those settings for astrophotography. And at the top left, we can confirm that we used MR because there's an MR here next to the M. So the cool thing here is that this works for any of the different modes. So even if you like, let's say, shutter priority, um, let's say I like shooting really fast subjects, you know, at, at 1 500th of a second, I can take these settings, go into menu, camera settings, memory, save this, and now when I go back to MR, it's going to bring these settings back. But not only am I going to get these settings, I'm also going to get the fact that I was using shutter priority. All right, now let's talk video and go to Cinema Pro. So the big feature in Cinema Pro is that we can finally go down into settings here and move this record button to the top. Now something that is a lot more ergonomic is to hold the phone like this and have your thumb near the top of the phone to hit this record button. Having it at the bottom was really annoying. All right, obviously I was joking. This is nice, but this is not the biggest feature. The biggest feature is the 120 frames per second, which you can see I'm already set to right now. And here's some footage uh, to take a look at real quick. This is taken at 120 FPS slowed down to 30 frames per second, and it just looks awesome. The Xperia footage is very sharp and it does really well with close subjects as you can see here. It's great for macro footage. Now there's a couple of things to keep in mind when using this mode. So let me go through some tips real quick. So the first thing which you may have already noticed is that we can use 120 FPS with different frame rates. So this project is set to 29.97 but I can still have slow motion clips at 120. And we couldn't do this before, and it's a great addition. And for those of you that are not familiar with how this works, these clips that I'm saving here, they will still be at the 29.97 frames per second, but they'll automatically be slowed down. So a 10 second clip will actually save as 40 seconds. And this also works if you're using 24 frames per second projects as well. The second thing to keep in mind is that 4K 120 needs a lot of light because the frame rate is so high. So here where I'm set to 120 and my shutter angle is 180, it's actually going to be shooting at 1 240th of a second, which is quite fast for video. So you want to make sure there's a lot of light. And if there isn't a lot of light, like in this scene here, you're going to have to increase the ISO. One of the added benefits of slow motion requiring so much light is that we can actually shoot in bright scenes without needing an ND filter. And that's because we can really get the shutter speed to be quite fast. 
I mean, we're at one out of 240 here, but we can go even faster if we decrease the shutter angle. You can see we can go all the way up to one out of 2,400. So I think it's gonna be very easy to be able to shoot in a bright situation using 4K 120. Another tip is if you're trying to capture motion like these splashes here, you may wanna use manual focus. Because with manual focus, you can get exactly the focus point before you start recording. And to make this even easier, let's say you wanna preset this on the minion here, all you have to do is tap and it will set that point. And you just have to say okay and it will not move when you start recording. This will help you get sharper results. Well, that sums up how to use the cool new camera features in Android 11. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Take a moment to like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.